in problem number 45, I'd like to find the derivative of f of x is equal to x to the power cosine of x. Uh, so this is not such a nice form of a function to work with. If you have x's that are in the base, uh, like an x here, and you have x's that are in the exponent as well, like a cosine of x here. So if you have x stuff in the base and you have x stuff in the exponential, uh, it's pretty hard. You can't use the power rule and you can't really treat it as an exponential function. It's its own thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to be very clever and we're going to rewrite this thing. So I'm going to rewrite it this way. Uh, I'm going to say that this is e to the ln of x to the cosine of x. Now notice what I did here is I wrote that e raised to the power ln of something, those cancel each other out. All right? And since they cancel each other out, um, I would just be left with x cosine x. So, uh, but this can be simplified as well because uh, this cosine of x is a power of x. So that cosine by the power rule for logarithms can be pulled out in front of the ln of x. So let's rewrite it again. So this could be written as e to the cosine of x times ln. Now this, I just have an exponential function. Uh, this part is nasty, but it's just an exponential function. Over here, this is just a big mess. Okay, this I can't work with. This I know how to work with. So let's use this guy to take the derivative instead of using this form. Okay, so when I take the derivative, f prime of x, uh, when I have e to a power, the first thing that I write down is just e to that power again. So I'm going to write down that this is e to the cosine of x times ln of x. Then I multiply that by the derivative of the power. But the power itself is a product. So to take the derivative of cosine x ln x, I need to use the product rule. So it's the first, which is cosine of x times the derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x, plus the second, which is ln of x, times the derivative of the first guy, which is negative sine of x. So I've got the derivative of e to a power is e to that power times the derivative of the power. And that gets us the derivative of this guy. Now, if we want to be cute, which since we have a minute, let's do it, uh, f prime of x, uh, we have e cosine x ln x. Well, e cosine x ln x is x cosine to the cosine of x. So if I wanted to, instead of writing this guy, I could write that this is x to the cosine of x times, and if I wanted to clean this up a little bit, I guess I could write this as cosine x over x minus sine x ln of x. And that gets the job done as well. So here's my derivative.